Hi Craig, a long way to come today. How do you think it went? I think it went as well as could be expected. Um, we've had a good statement from the First Minister. The bottom line is we, we want the marine, protect, the marine environment protected for the benefit of all stakeholders of the Murray and Cromarty Firth. It's far too sensitive area to uh, allow this to happen. But bear in mind that this is an open water at sea process when we have the facilities available at Mid Jetty for ballast, con ballast water control, VOC control and any other uh, issues that may, may occur. And that's been done quite rightly for the past 30 odd years, quite safely at the, the Nick uh, terminal. Before Christmas, we had the uh, Hilda Knutson shuttle tanker came in with 700,000 barrels of crude oil, which was safely deposited at the Nick terminal. I had no complaints whatsoever. The ship came in, deposited the oil, and left. And we've had another ship come in to offload some that, I believe and left within a week. So it proves that the MIG terminal is, can be used for ship-to-ship -ship, um, oil transfers. It does not have to be uh, actioned in such a sensitive um, envir marine environmental area. This is just the wrong plan in the wrong place and it always has been. Um, the, if I would say anything to the Port Authority is to take a note of what is happening around the Cromarty and Muggy Firth. This licence is for an operation in the Muggy Firth, not the Cromarty Firth, and to take notice of the 24 out of 40 community councils that have objected and withdraw the licence. Is there any news on a date for a debate at Highland Council that awaits until the application resurfaces? From what I understand, following on from the meeting in, uh, before Christmas, is that the license, when the revised license, when it appears, will be debated at full council. So that date is to be determined and we've not heard yet because the revised license hasn't appeared. So we're in a bit of a limbo on that one. But I would anticipate when that does come out that it will be at full council and everybody can chip in their 10 pounds worth. And any other general next steps that the campaign has planned? As far as I'm aware, it's to keep up the momentum with Comte Rising and Marine Connection and the community councils of Manchester. Um, the coming together of those two groups has been a significant step forward and it has united the uh, communities of Comte and, and Nairnshire in opposing this ridiculous application. Thanks very much, Craig.